I am Janine Proudlock, Head Teacher at Karen Grange High School in Falkirk. Great stuff. So tell us about what's happening today. So we are here today to take part in the Doddy Weir Grand Slam Challenge and our young people here at Karen Grange High School are out on their adapted bikes showing exactly what they can do so that they can take part in the race to Rome. Why did you want to get involved in all of this? We wanted to get it involved because it's important to support the challenge but it's also important to show everybody that all young people regardless of disability regardless of learning need that they can take part and that they can have the same opportunities as everyone else because our young people love to get out on their bikes adapted or otherwise they love to get in the swimming pool and they love to be physical and well-being is a real part of our curriculum here so being out with each other building friendships and building skills when they're out cycling walking running swimming it's a big part of what we do here at Karen Gage High School. So tell us a bit more about the high school. Uh, Karen Grange High School is a severe and complex needs high school here in Falkirk Council and we work with young people from the ages of 11 to 18 with additional support needs with disabilities and they come here to school to have fun and engage in a learning curriculum that suits their needs. It's very much skills based so that our young people can learn lots of information but it's all delivered through the vehicle of skills to try and ensure that our young people are as independent as they possibly can be when they leave us here at the end of their six years. Why? Why is it such a special place? It's a special place because the young people are amazing to work with. They love learning, they love meeting people and they get a lot of enjoyment out of what they do here. Um, some of them have uh, disabilities but that does not stop them. They try every opportunity that we can give them and we give them lots of opportunities from classroom based activities to outdoor learning which includes paddle boarding, um, swimming, running, everything that we possibly can to make them feel engaged with the world around them. And why why do you think that they'll enjoy this challenge? What, what is it about this that you think will, will actually suit them to a certain degree? I think it's important because for lots of our young people they don't really get out into the world around them at times because it can be physically difficult to do that for them and their families. And I think being part of this challenge when we're, where we're looking at all of the different places and countries that the, the Grand Slam challenge will pass through um, I think our young people will get a wider sense of themselves in the world. They get to see that they are part of something that's happening, not just within their own, their own family home, not within their own area, out with Falkirk even. Um, and it's national, it's international, and I think being part of something like that is really important so they can open their eyes and see the wider world around them and how they fit into that. What do you think will be the most challenging thing that you're going to do? And in fact, talk us through exactly what it is that you're hoping to do. We hope to be able to, to cycle alongside everyone who's taking part in this challenge. We will cover the 3,000 odd kilometres that it takes to get to Rome. We will do it through cycling a bit of walking, running, swimming, but we will be with the, the participants every step of the way only here in Karen Grange High School. And our young people will all take part, our staff will take part, and we hope our wider community of families will take part too, so that we can build up miles, we can build up understanding of the Doddy Weir Foundation, but also around how our young people can be a part of that. And they will take great pleasure in being part of that, that wider, that wider kind of issue around the world, which is great. What would they love most about it as someone you'll know a lot of the pupils? <laughs> They will love the physical activity, they will love being together. Our young people love to take part in things and they love to know that they are making a difference and that they are doing the same thing that everyone else is able to do. So I think for them it will be really important to be part of this, it will be a lot of fun, but it will also help them build understanding of the world around them, but it improves their skills as well, their communication skills, their physical activity skills, and everything we do is built around that. And finally, just a message I suppose, what would you say to um, maybe other parents who, who've got kids with disabilities, mm -hmm. you know, who may be struggling and, and just that the whole, you know, we, we look from the outside in uh, at children. We've uh -huh. seen some today who've got some severe um, disabilities, but actually, you know, they can still do a lot of things, can't they? They can mm -hmm. still take part. So what would your message be around that? Our message is that we can do the same as everyone else can do. Our young people, um, they, they thrive when they are challenged, they thrive when they are part of something bigger and for us it's about learning without limits.